Hello, my name is Joe Desiderio. I'm with Caravan Ingredients. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about frozen dough and the proper procedures to help you come out with the best product. Um, what I have in front of me here is just some frozen dough. The, these are hot dog buns and some French sticks. As you can see, all the product is moving around. It's not stuck together. It's still in a good frozen state. Same with these sticks here. So make sure that when you do accept your frozen product, it, it is well, very well frozen. That way it won't stick together when you go to break it out. Now when we're setting up frozen dough um, for the next day's bake, you always want to set it up to make sure you'll have a manufacturing seam or a screen mark. You make sure that outside is always down. That's important for your finished product to get to make it look as good as you can. So we always want to go down to find the seam or the screen mark from the manufacturer. And again, it would be the same procedure for anything larger like a bread or a French stick. You're always going to have a bottom and a top to it. So make sure that when you do set it up, put it on a nice clean pan with a clean sheet pan. And then we're going to place it on a rack. When you break out frozen dough, you always want to retard it overnight. What I mean by retarding it is just setting it on pans, placing it on a rack, and then we're going to cover it with a rack cover. That way it doesn't dry out. Um, it's important for your temperatures to be between 36 and 38 degrees and you should retard for no more than 8 to 12 hours. Um, anything over that, especially if the temperature gets above 38 degrees, you're gonna, your product is going to start to move and proof, and it's probably not going to end up the way you like it in the end. And once I get done filling up my rack, what I'm going to do is grab a rack cover. This will ensure that I don't, the product will not dry out overnight. It'll keep it so it doesn't get a crust on it, and that's important because when you go to bake it the next day, you don't want your product to be too dried out where it's going to compromise it. So we're just going to cover this. Normally I would fill up this whole rack. I'm going to go right in the cooler with it, retard it overnight. Um, it's important to do that because it'll help the grain in the interior. If you try to rush the process, you're probably not going to end up with the right crumb that you're looking for inside. So it's an important step in uh, using frozen dough. I'd like to give you a quick little tip on setting up some of these smaller products such as these hot dog buns. This is just regular water in a spray bottle. I'll spray that pan a little, or pan liner a little bit. And that gives me a little water on that silicone liner. And then when I put the frozen dough product on there, it'll almost stick to it immediately. Forms like a little adhesive for that hot dog bun or any smaller sub buns you may have. And then you can move it without anything moving around. When you go to transfer it on your rack, it stays perfect. So if you are using frozen dough, I hope with these are little tips that can help you out to get the best product you possibly can and to assure a good, great finished product.